We've had a lot of requests from users on the forums as to exactly how you get into a decent overhead squat position. Now the traditional ways of improving your overhead squat position are all about improving thoracic extension, which I don't have much of as a matter of fact, and also the movement of the scapula back on the rib cage. But I'm going to show you a different approach today, which can be used in Olympic lifting or overhead squatting itself, which actually involves moving the shoulder in quite a different way. So let me just turn side on to you and show you what this looks like. I've got a bar and I've got the bar gripped at a standard snatch grip width. I lift my arms up like this, notice it's still in front of my head. I press the arms off the body and at this point here, just watch the shoulders carefully. I pull the shoulders forward. I'm going forward and back like this to show you the movement forward and now watch. The bar can move back easily in my shoulders and once the shoulders are in this position, just to, I'm going to do it with a heavier weight in a moment, but just imagine I'm overhead squatting with some weight here. Even without any thoracic extension, it's possible to have the bar, as you can see, in exactly the right position for an overhead squat. So let me just show you what that looks like with a, a heavier device. We've got a crowbar here. Now, I'm not sure how heavy the crowbar is. It's probably about seven or eight kilograms. Um, so about half the weight of an empty Olympic bar. So I'll do it in front of you first. So up goes the bar, press the bar off the body, pull the shoulders forward. And as you can see, much a bit further down and a bit more easily down. And the same from the outside, press the bar up, pull the shoulders forward like this, take the bar back to what you imagine the balance point is going to be. And then one, two, Three. Have, an, have a play with this and please report back on the forums and tell us whether that's helped you. But in my case, my thoracic extension being restricted, I found that it wasn't possible to get the bar in the right position the ordinary way, but I found that when I pulled the shoulder forward like this, the arms rotated back in the socket without any restriction whatsoever. So give it a try and tell us whether you like it or not. Thanks.